I mean, honestly, but people think, oh, 45 days, I, it's plenty of time to identify. I can't tell you, Brett, how many brokers I've had call me and you could just hear over the phone, you could, you could hear the sweat beads on their forehead, uh, scrambling, looking for a deal for their client that's in the middle of a 1031. And they're trying to find somewhere to land. And it's almost like, hey, do you have anything you could sell? Anything you got? These guys are looking for anything they could, anything they, they could put the capital in. Matt, let's shift a little bit into um, 1031 exchanges, right? And, mm -hmm. and or, you know, the biggest frustration when it comes to 1031 in the capital gains tax. I imagine there might be clients or investors or people that you work with yeah. that are selling that business, want to sell that crypto, want to sell that real estate property yeah. and want to be into like your, your passive, you know, hands off uh, real estate lending fund or multifamily deal, right? But the timing's not quite there yet, but they could sell and they have this big capital gains tax. So talk about the frustration as it pertains to, you know, the 45, 180, you're not being able to go into real estate funds. What would that mean if there was a solution that could, uh, could solve for that? Well, I, I see a lot of, tons of frustrations, Brett, around the 1031. As, as you know, it's, it's like one of these things that gets thrown around a lot. It's one of those solutions that is easier said than done, so to speak. Um, you know, and, and, uh, and I've, I've have friends in the business that have wanted to do 1031s, but it really, ties your hands in a lot of different ways, man. I mean, like there's a lot of hurdles that are, that are there to, uh, that, that you've got to get over. And then the IRS is not so flexible on time. You know, they're not going to give you oh, 180 days. No problem. We'll give you a little bit more time to find another deal. Um, and the, as I, I just got finished saying the market that we're in is somewhat tumultuous and to have a limited amount of time to place that capital into a deal you may end up having to settle a four square peg into a round hole, which is why other options outside of the 1031 um, are, uh, are are definitely paramount. And one more one more reason why 1031s are cautionary: uh, as a syndicator, um, if I'm selling an asset, and I, it is it is again possible, but you know very very difficult um, the, the, to do a 1031 with a large group of investors. Again, like I said, it's, you can do it. Uh, but you, you've also, you, you can also take 45 cats and herd them into a tractor trailer all at once. Right. Which is kind of what you have to do when you have to convince all 45 of your investors that the next thing is a good thing for them to invest in with you or to roll their, their hard earned, their, their, their principal into the next deal, which is why I think that, that vehicles like a DST, are a great alternative to a 1031. Not that a 1031 is bad. It's just difficult, and it's com it, it can be complex, difficult, and not you know very rigid uh, in, in that. In my experience, I've done a few 1031s, and I found them to be just that. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. In fact, we call that the shotgun wedding, right? You're getting engaged <laughs> in 45, married in 180, and or yeah. the the blockbuster. You got to return it within three days. Right versus the flexibility of yeah. having something like the deferred sales trust, which allows yeah. you to not only exit those assets, but then get time back on your side, right? To end diversification back on your side, to wait to a deal until a deal comes up and to diversify into multiple uh, assets at different timing and not have to feel like you have to do it all yourself. And and it's also what it called the seamless partnership separation. That's a good point you bring up there. We just had a $13 million exit in San Diego. It was four partners. Guess what? One was ready to retire, just pay his tax. He's gone. The other three wanted to diversify and be out of debt and, and wait for the market to shift. And so about two years ago now, we sold the 13 million, paid off 4 million of debt. The rest of it went into the uh, to the trust, each individual trust. And they've been investing passively with mm. groups like yourself, Matt. Like, like this mm -hmm. is what they do. Like the point is you can do it now. You just have to know how to do it. Uh, in fact, uh, if you want to learn more about that, you can go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com. You can start to build your capital gains tax exit plan. Make sure you're not just building the wealth. You're building the plan to execute when you do exit the wealth so you're not caught in a tough position. Matt, any thoughts on that? Yeah, well, that's that's really what gives diversification. And we've had a few investors approach us that are in vehicles like that. Um, and they're very happy, you know, uh, and, and I think that like, just life isn't rigid and investing is not rigid. And so to have that level of flexibility allows you to just have some time to think. I mean, honestly, but people think, oh, 45 days, I, it's plenty of time to identify. I can't tell you, Brett, how many brokers I've had call me and you could just hear over the phone, you could, you could hear the sweat beads on their forehead, uh, scrambling, looking for a deal for their client that's in the middle of a 1031. And they're trying to find somewhere to land. And it's almost like, hey, do you have anything you could sell? Anything you got, these guys are looking for anything they could, anything they, they could put the capital in. Brett, 
I don't want to invest that way. If I were the operator, if I were the 1031 uh, participant, I would be very upset if I'm running around saying like, anything you can, I'll take whatever you got. I mean, like the, the 1031 is really corner you, uh, but a DST does not. It gives you that much more versatility and, and the ability to, uh, you know, like you said, you want to sit on the sidelines and wait for the market to slow down a little bit. You can do that. Uh, you know, like you, as, as you said, you want to have one partner exit, you know, one person retire. They don't all have to ride on the train that you, you can have exits on the highway, so to speak. Uh, that, that's why I think it's a great vehicle. <laughs>